Only tonight on NBC Charlotte, our investigation has uncovered new legislation just quietly passed in South Carolina that allows for adoption agencies to reject prospective parents based on religious or moral beliefs. LGBTQ and equality groups confirming tonight they are assembling legal teams to file a lawsuit against the state, while others argue it is a win for religious freedom. NBC Charlotte's Savannah Levins joins us. Savannah, what can you tell us about this? Governor McMaster just signed this 500 page budget into law. Inside that budget is this five page subsection and inside that subsection is this one line and this one line changes a whole lot about who can adopt in South Carolina. Especially for a taxpayer funded entity, why would you want to sanction discrimination in any form or fashion. Taylor and Corey Clamp have been married for four years and they'll tell you adopting their son Walker was the best thing to ever happen to them. I couldn't imagine my life now without him. But a proviso included in the South Carolina state budget allows adoption agencies to refuse to quote provide any service under circumstances that conflict with a sincerely held religious belief or moral conviction. It gives these private adoption agencies the license to discriminate based on religious beliefs. I mean, not only the LGBTQ community, but it could be a single mother. It could be an interracial couple. Jennifer Tague with SC Equality says the nonprofit is working to get the proviso redacted, even though it's already been signed into law. We have prospective um, plaintiffs ready to file suit if this if this is not overturned during the summer. I spoke with York County Representative Gary Simrell. He's on the committee that inserted the line into the budget. He says they added it because the Department of Social Services was trying to cut ties with some faith-based adoption agencies that turn away prospective parents based on religion. The new provision makes it legal for those agencies to do just that. So now DSS cannot refuse to work with them. Supporters also say it's a win for religious freedom. But others worry it's just another roadblock for families like the Clamps. I just don't think it's fair for anybody to use their own personal beliefs, their own religious beliefs to potentially make things even more difficult for some of these foster care kids. So this is now in effect in South Carolina. This provision just passed. By the way, I did reach out to some of these faith based agencies. None of them returned any of my calls reporting live tonight. Savannah Levins, NBC Charlotte.